So we are using the uh, Sartorius Stadium uh, glass microfiber disc uh, which the pore size is 0 0.7 micron and the thickness is uh, 0 0.38 mm. Okay, uh, diameter is uh, 47 mm as you can see here as we open up the box um, this is how the thing looks like so we are going to place this into uh, the oven uh, before we start uh, using uh, for the uh, filtration so we have just placed the uh, glass microfiber disc uh, into the oven uh, which is set uh, between 103 uh, to 105 degrees Celsius and we will let it dry for an hour to drive off the moisture in the disc uh, and let it cool down in the desiccator before we start using it so it's been uh, about an hour since we uh, left the, uh, the disc the microfiber, glass microfiber disc uh, to be dried in the oven so now we are taking it out to be put into the desiccator Okay, so now we have already uh, left the um, glass microfiber disc uh, cool down um, and uh, in the dissipator. So now we are going to take it out and uh, measure for it. Okay, so now we are going to uh, measure the weight for each of the uh, glass microfiber disc. But before that, uh, when you want to use the balance, you need to make sure that the uh, bubble is actually within the circle. Uh, as you can see here, it has been adjusted. So now everything is zero. So what we are going to do is to, um, to put the uh, glass microfiber disc into the balance. Okay, so um, this is the um, the set that we are going to use uh, to do the total suspended solid test, where we are going to filter the solids that is uh, coming from the water sample that we have collected. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do is to um, uh, wet uh, this this uh, this here first to make sure that there's no air bubbles that is being trapped. Okay. Okay, wet this area, make sure it's fully if you can see from here it is uh, fully um, you know covered by a layer of water. Okay. And then we are going to put the disc here. Okay, this is disc number two. Okay, so when you want to put on the disc, you need to slide in from the side here to minim minimize the possibility of trapping the air uh, between the uh, disc and also the, um, the support here. Okay, so you have to see that this part here, the top part here is supposed to be the rough surface. Okay, the other side is uh, more of like a, a cloth type. Okay. As you can see here, okay. So this side is the rough side, okay, and this side is the we call we call it the smooth side. So always uh, the rough side up, okay. The next thing we are going to do is uh, to put this uh, funnel on the. 
like this and clap, clamp it together. Okay? We will clamp it together. We have to make sure that it's uh, holding well. Okay? Okay, so then after that, we need to rinse the wall of the funnel. Rinse the wall of the funnel like this. Okay? And then we can turn on the vacuum pump to make sure that all the water is being sucked out. Okay, as you can see from the top here, it's all dry. Yeah, when we put the water, okay, it's all there's a vacuum pressure here, right? So now, what we're going to do is that. Here we have a 100 ml of uh, water sample which we will be pouring in here. Okay. Okay, so um, in theory, whatever that is uh, being retained in the filter is uh, considered as a total suspended solids and whatever that can pass through um, uh, the filter is called total dissolved solids right? So then, what you need to do next is to rinse the wall of the beaker okay, to make sure that all the solids in the water sample is passed through the filter So you can see that uh, when the um, water, all the water has already passed through, okay, so we can switch off the vacuum pump. So now that we are done with the filtration, okay, so this is the sample uh, from the outlet of the Unimus Lake, and this is the sample from the uh, boathouse, okay. So we are going to, now going to put it into the oven. Uh, now we are going to put it into the oven at 102 degrees Celsius. Okay. For one hour. Right now, um, it's already past uh, an hour uh, where, the, where the samples are kept in the oven. Okay, so now I'm taking it out. we're going to place it uh, in the desiccator for it to cool down first and we repeat the same process as uh, we did earlier on okay so uh, right now uh, it will be very cool down um, the thing is this, uh, this uh, samples in the desiccator so what we're going to do now is to measure uh, the weight with the sample on it okay 